Hello and uh, welcome back to another Fluke Friday and today I'm trying to finish the project of the differential meter it is the 893A and it's from around 1970 in the other episode I uh, already started cleaning taking all the buttons off and also the scale that turns here for the numbers we already cleaned that. I need to clean the terminals. Also the switches were a little bit loose. So we'll try to, to make those fixed again. And we clean the switches and hopefully then my 100 volts and my 1000 volt settings will also work on the differential because on the TVM mode I think it worked. So let's start the cleaning or continue the cleaning. Some of the switches seemed very loose and then the inside of the switch, this is on and off, this one was not a problem. This one was not a problem I think, but here it's actually moving. So the buttons will break. This was all bent. I got that already a lot better. I think this is almost where it should be. And it only needs a, a little bit more cleaning. And well, let me zoom in on the switches. We are looking now at the top and if I turn this switch, this is a range switch, you can see it's all moving inside and I don't think that is great for your cables so hopefully there is no cable break there but uh, I will start to fix it first and to clean it it needs to be tightened so it doesn't move now we look at the bottom and the same story here with the Kelvin divider the Kelvin divider didn't have a problem but it will become a problem all the switches are moving. This one I already tried to fix a little bit. This one is also moving. That is not good. This is probably an easy fix. Just need to tighten it a little bit. I hope that that's it. Oh yeah, it's very loose. I'm not even putting strength. Yeah, that's better. Oh, look, it's very loose. I can do really a few turns. I don't want to do it too tight. But well, if it has been used for 50 years, then yes. And also it has been three years on the shelf here in my lab because I was just not I didn't even try it. So this was really the first time I tried it. Well, this one below is a bit harder to reach because it is far away. But well, if you if you use tools a lot of time, you probably know. But if you use the key like this, because I cannot make too much movement, and then you turn, then you have half the angle every time. Okay, let's clean the switches. Do I have one that is good? Yes. This can go back. Tighten it a little bit. Just to have some grip. Yeah. This is a WD-40, but it is not the oil. It is the contact cleaner. And my experience is that it is quality stuff this one I used it also in all the older multimeters there is a, a switch ring in the back there is a switch ring in the front and then in the middle there are even also contacts so it's a multi switch so we need to try to get in all angles. Uh -huh. That is probably enough.
Well, there is a problem that one of the levers is moving uh, around the axle. But I can't tie that. So I try to glue. This is this infrared glue. So I need to glue a little bit between the copper and the aluminium where it is wrong. Then I need to switch it over. <laughs> Push it to the other side. Glue it again. Okay. And then I put a light to activate the glue. Let me check if it is. Yeah, the screen is correct. A little bit like the dentist. So that uh, cleaning took a while, but look at the result. It looks a lot, lot better. Here it is. Look at that. These are nice and shiny. The buttons all look very nice. It switches like clock. The dot is good visible. One off here. I was able to get back the color, take the ugly stickers off, the top also looks a lot better. I tried to glue the handle, but in the end it didn't work too much, so I just needed to do like this with a little bit of tape but it is almost not visible so let's do again the test seven volts here in the display putting it ten volts here put this one to seven Well, we can check if it even is 7. It says here, okay, it's exactly 7 volts. Now we're going to try to match it. And... <laughs> I need to go a little bit lower. So that would be Okay, so that would give us about six, nine, nine, eight. Well, is it six, nine, nine, eight? Six, nine, nine. Well, almost eight. Six, nine, nine, 
6998. So cleaning the switches didn't make it worse, but in the end it also didn't make it better. I tried the 100 volt the TVM function, just like a voltage meter. It still did work on the 100 volts, and even when I start playing with the switches, when I switch back, it kept working. So that was good. The 1000 volt setting still doesn't work. Uh, the differential mode only works in 1 volt and in 10 volts. Also not in the 100 and the 1000 volts. So that is still that I need to look at. Uh, but it does look at least a lot better. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.